Well, good morning, Calvary. My name is Robert. I'm the family pastor here at Calvary. Uh, this spring, we're going through all of our staff and sharing our journey to freedom as we talk about the Exodus story and the people of Israel in the Old Testament searching for freedom uh, from their slavery in Egypt. We want to share some of our stories about how we found freedom in Christ. And my, my story to freedom is a little different than others and in that I didn't have issues with drugs or alcohol or major life issues that God saved me from but I was looking for freedom in, in terms of finding purpose and fulfillment in life. See, as a, a high school student, I found myself at the stage in life where everyone was, was asking, you know, what my career path and life goals and things would be, and I didn't know. And, and beyond that, instead of asking what career path, what job, what, what direction I was gonna go in that sense, I was underneath that asking bigger questions, like what is the purpose of life? Why are we here? Why do we exist as human beings? And plenty of people around me just labeled me as an angsty teenager and dismissed it and said, oh, well, when you figure out your career path, everything will fall together. Except I didn't have that sense. Uh, I didn't think that it mattered what job I could come up with because no matter what I thought about, there was no joy or excitement or passion there because I knew that there was an issue of what my purpose in life was. Now, underneath all this was my faith story or really lack thereof. See, as a kid, I grew up in a Christian home. I attended a Christian school for several years and I made a profession of faith and was baptized. And I truly believe that was genuine, but my faith stopped maturing at that point. Our family moved to Arizona and, and didn't really immediately get connected. And so I didn't grow as a follower of Christ. So as a teenager, I found myself in a place where my faith was more of a title than a relationship. It was more something to prevent hell from being in my future than it was something that actually changed the present. And it wasn't until I attended summer camp uh, as part of our youth group, actually here at Calvary, that that began to change. Because at that camp, I was confronted face to face with the truth of what a relationship with Jesus looked like, what it actually meant to follow Jesus instead of what I had created in my mind with that title and status of Christian. And as I looked at that, I realized I didn't have a relationship with Christ. I was not actively walking with him. And I knew in that moment that that is what I needed more than anything else. So I submit and surrender to Christ and, and began walking in a relationship with him, began growing in my knowledge of God's word and, and how to follow him and everything changed. I experienced joy and excitement in life, just growing closer to God. I experienced fulfillment and joy in serving people and, and giving of myself to help others. And underneath all of that, I found purpose. Now, not a purpose in uh, a ministry job or calling, that was uh, much later coming. Not a purpose in knowing what my career path was, but purpose in knowing that my purpose for existing was found in Christ. See, later on as I was in seminary, I heard or actually read this, this quote from what's called the Westminster Shorter Catechism. And it says, the chief end of man is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. I wish I had heard that as a teenager because it would have been so helpful for me to, to really frame everything of what I was looking for. The chief end of all of our life is to glorify God and for us to find enjoyment and fulfillment and, and purpose in that relationship with his son, Jesus. And that is how I found my freedom in knowing that purpose wasn't something I had to create or manufacture or come up with on my own, but it was something that Christ had already created for me that I just needed to accept for myself. So today, no matter where you're at, where you're uh, striving and searching for freedom lies, know that every aspect leads to Jesus. If you need freedom from addiction or life issues, Jesus is the solution there. Or if you're like me and you're searching for freedom from just not knowing what the purpose of your life is, know that you're gonna find it in Jesus because the chief end of man is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. We'll see you next time, Calvary.